Haven't had a case in ages, not since the recession. Spend my work days playing free cell, kind of an obsession. <laughs> Mouse. Ah, it's Pomplamoose. Your rent's late again. I'm sorry, Ms. Rathbone. It's just that there hasn't been much... Yeah, yeah, you've been saying that for months now. Well, I'm tired of letting you stay here rent-free, and I mean it this time. Either you pay up now, or I take your stuff out on the curb and change the locks. You hear me? Great. There's gotta be something around here I can use to get out of this mess. At least I damn well hope so. My laptop's old as hell, likely weighs about 15 pounds. I can't believe that people used to carry these things around. It's barely even useful for stealing the neighbor's Wi-Fi. I have to keep it plugged in so the batteries don't die. Ah, I can't get a connection right now. Maybe now would be a good time to check. Hmm. It's just a pile of mail, a bunch of bills I haven't paid. I can't believe Leave the lights still turn on in this place. Wait a minute. What's this? Dominique, hope you're well. Your father and I just got back from Cancun. Unfortunately, he wound up with a bad case of the runs, but other than that, we had a lovely time. Have you cleaned your office lately? Last time we dropped by, it was a pigsty, and I tell you, that's not the kind of impression you want to give to your clients. Anyway, take this wad of cash and buy something nice to wear other than that ratty trench coat, for goodness sakes. Love, Mom. Huh, a wad of cash. Thanks, Mom. I knew I could count on you to bail me out of this mess. It'd probably be a good idea to... This is all I've got. <laughs> Not quite enough, but I'll take it. But I want the rest in 48 hours, Pimplehead. That's exactly 2,880 minutes, at which time I'll be back. And you damn well better have my money by then. Well, I bought myself some time at least, but now what am I going to do? Gotta come up with more money. Really need to focus Hoping that some work will turn up So I won't be homeless Excuse me, sir? Oh, that was quick? Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry. Should that be madam? I can never tell these. Just Dominique is fine, thanks. What can I do for you? I have somewhat of a predicament. I'm looking for a certain man. Are you familiar with the singer? Casey Bingham, pop star extraordinaire. Casey Bingham? I've sort of heard of him, I think. I'm not very in on pop music these days. He'd been comforting with my daughter, rather inappropriately. That is, until he up and disappeared, leaving town quite unexpectedly. Tell me a bit about your daughter. She's been acting rather standoffish. Devon, by the way, that's her name. Maybe you could ask her some questions. The mall's where she usually goes these days. Do I know you? You look a little familiar. My name is Prudence Van Damme. You may have heard of me. I am the president and 
like the entire music industry in this town, isn't it? What can I say? I worked hard to get myself where I am now. Your daughter's been hanging around the mall, you said? Most teenagers do, it seems. All right, I'll take on your case. Track down Casey Bingham's whereabouts, anything else? That would be all I need, thank you. If you find anything out or have any questions, I'll be in my home office at 1420 Humpeting Way. Until then, adieu! Well, that's that, I guess. Time to actually get to some real work for a change. Hey, I wonder if the internet's working yet. Ooh, look at that! The neighbor's Wi-Fi seems to be working again. Casey Bingham, 23-year-old pop music superstar discovered by Van Dunn Records four years ago. Famous for such number one hits as Your Nose is Like a Rose and My Flammable Heart. Always wears a signature mohawk and necktie while performing. Resides in a $3.6 million house in the affluent Cuthbert Heights neighborhood. Aha, now I know where this guy lives. Thank you, celebrity stalking internet. Prudence Van Dunn, relatively unknown until six years ago, suddenly appeared with a recording company, frequently cited as an influential force in pioneering the perfectly in tune style of singing in modern pop music, much to the detriment of people with good taste everywhere. Devin Van Dunn, apparently has not much else to go on. All that's left in there. There's rodents everywhere, their numbers have inflated. I can't even afford to keep the mouse trap baited. They keep eating my food, there's hardly enough left for me. At least they haven't started to peck at me while I'm sleeping. Ah. This place is such a dump, it's all I can afford these days. I hate looking at these walls, I keep meaning to redecorate. Great. It's always cold and drafty, except when it's unbearably hot. I really like to move, but it's looking likely not. Guess this has to be the right place. It's smaller than I thought it'd be. Of course, 3.6 million doesn't get you much in this economy. Excuse me, but do you? Oh, hello, I'm Miss Pendergast. I'm here to water the plants. I'd like to ask you about Casey Bingham. Are you his lawyer? No, I'm a detective. I'm investigating his disappearance. Oh, well then. I'm not talking to any police or anyone involved in law enforcement. Now, if you will, please be off on your... Wait, what am I doing here? Oh, what have we here? A fence to separate one's neighbors is something I can't quite afford. If I had one, I think I'd want to paint it and climb up on it when I'm bored. Sorry to bother you. Oh, 
Hello. Yes, yes. Did I? Impossible. I've never seen you before. I'd remember an ugly outfit like yours, I'm sure. Oh, curious. It looks like I may be dealing with lots of short-term memory. This makes things rather tricky, I must say, but somehow it might help, maybe. Uh, I just wanted to, um... Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. You'd better get out of here. If you don't, the consequences will be... Wait, what was I just yelling about? Is this it? Is this all my future? has to hold. Is this it? Follow mother's footsteps till I'm old. There's got to be understand why anyone would want to wear such things, let alone spend hundreds of dollars on them. But to each their own, I suppose. Devin? What? Can't you see I'm... Wait, who are you? Dominique Pomplamoose. I need to ask you a few. Okay, like, I don't mean to be rude, but what are you? A private detective. I wanted to... No, I mean, are you a boy or a girl? Well, neither, seeing as I went through puberty ages ago. But I don't see how that's relevant. Anyway, can I have a moment of your time? Whatever. I'd like to talk to you about Casey Bingham. I knew it. Mother put you up to this, didn't she? Snooping around, going through my room, reading my diary. I mean, what does she care about what I do? Where I go off to and with whom? Doesn't she know I'm not a kid anymore? So your mother found out about the two of you by snooping through your things? What's up with that, right? I swear, she can be so annoying. Do you know a lady named Ms. Pendergast who waters Casey's plants? I've never even been to his house, so no. Do you know anything about Casey's lawyer? Why would you think I'd care about that? Why don't you tell me a little about yourself, Devin? Well, okay, I turned 17 five months ago. Only got a few weeks of high school left to go. I wouldn't really say I have plans. Mother wants me to stay and lend a hand in running this business so I can take over. me about your mom. Well, you know, she's all famous, rich, and everything. As a mom, she's high-strung and kind of domineering. She says she wants only the best for me. Tells me she worked hard to do this, you see. But sometimes I think, can't I just have a normal life? The bane of my existence. Which one's supposed to be me?
Welcome to my lovely office. It's so nice to see you here. Please do try not to break anything, or you'll be booted in the rear. Nice bust of yourself you got there. Oh, I'm very glad you like it. It's a lovely piece of art. I must warn you, though, it's fragile, and I can't have it fall apart. Oh, what's this? There's a curious indentation, some weird star shape on the base. It's probably just some decoration stamped on there to fill the space. She's got all 35 volumes of the Encyclopedia Enormica. I had no idea people even used those anymore. <laughs> Well, I've never actually read them. I just do not have the time. I found them at a garage sale. Bought them only for a dime. Wow, that's some fancy computer. What? Uh, I mean, yes, yes it is. I'd appreciate it if you left it alone, however. Devon tells me you've been sneaking a peek at her diary. Kind of an egregious invasion of privacy, don't you think? I assure you, mad uh, sir, uh, whatever you are, it was absolutely necessary. I had seen them talking earlier, about a week ago or two. My suspicions needed proving, so I went looking for some clues. When she was out, the room was open, and her diary in plain sight. I just don't want her in trouble. As a mother, it's my right. I'd like to take a look around Devon's room, if that's all right. Now then, weren't you harping on me about privacy just now? I'm doing detective work. Different situation here. Suit yourself. Her bedroom is upstairs, second door to the left. Do you know a woman named Ms. Pendergast? Waters Casey's plants? Whomever Casey hires for his housework is of absolutely no concern to me. Do you know anything about Casey's lawyer? Lawyer? Well, I... Every famous person has a lawyer these days, it seems. I can't expect to keep track of all of them, can I? So, this Casey Bingham dude, I guess he's breaking some sort of sexual harassment policy in his contract? No, no, I wouldn't call it harassment exactly, but for goodness sakes, she's a child and doesn't know any better. And him going off and leaving like this... Doesn't that solve the problem then? Him leaving? You'd think so, but not when he's my best-selling platinum artist in possession of... Uh, suffice to say, he can't be easily replaced. <laughs> I spoke to your daughter. She seems to find you a little bit overbearing. Typical teenager complaints, I suspect. Is that so? Oh, how typically ungrateful. After all I've sacrificed. Doesn't know how much she has it. Never worked a day in life. Gotta search the room, try to find something that'll tell me something about what's going on with Devin and this thing she's got with Casey Bingham. Ooh, 
look who it is, our old friend, of course, she's got his poster on her wall. Kinda sorta creeps me out a bit, but hey, whatever works for her. Devin's room is cleaner than I thought Usually there'd be clothes strewn about Instead they're neatly packed in this dresser Probably not the big a deal Bunch of stuff in here, schmaltzy pros I'm so in love with Casey, he's so dreamy On and on and on, so it goes Standard boring teenage mushiness What miraculous wonders could possibly await under this overly large bed? Aha! That's a pretty big envelope, it's already open, might as well take a peep inside. Maybe it'll give me clues about what's going on. Dear Devin Van Dunn, congratulations on your acceptance to Charlotte Barkley College. Huh, wow, she's even got a scholarship too. Good on her. That said, wasn't she supposed to be jumping straight into the family business after high school? Any plans for Devin after she graduates? College, perhaps? College? Ha! Huh, goodness, no! College is much too expensive All that money is a waste When you consider the economy All that time would be misplaced She's way better off here with me Though I sometimes have my doubts But feel the future of this business She must learn the ins and outs No college plans for Devon then I told you it's a colossal waste of money I found something of yours. Congratulations, by the way. What? How? Where'd you... I'm a detective. It's what I do. If you show that to Mother, I'll... She'll... Don't worry, I haven't. That said, I do get the feeling you haven't been telling me everything. Why don't you let me hear your side of the story first? All right, fine. There's a whole world I can see right out in front of me. And a whole life where I can be who I want to be. But if Mother has her way, be wasting all my days, losing myself as she makes a slave of me. College is my only ticket out of here. If you mess it up, I might as well just disappear. Of course, it's not like you'd understand. You've probably never even been what are you planning to do while you're in college, exactly? It's not all non-stop partying, you know? Ugh, you must think I'm a complete, utter airhead, don't you? <laughs> hmm. Well, the clueless dits things what you all expect of me. Think maybe there's stuff I just want to study. I've been reading lots of books from Judith Butler to Mel Hooks, and I'd really like to major in philosophy. But that said, there's so much there I can explore. something more. As a matter 
a fact, I did go to college. Even started grad school, in fact. I didn't know you had to get a degree to be a sketchy private detective. No, it was an audio robotics. Didn't become a private detective until way later. See, the thing is... I had a very promising research career. I took well to the academic atmosphere. But then there were funding cuts. There was nothing left for us. And my thesis project got stolen from under me. Now all I have left are student loans And a future as of yet unknown Wow, that's horrible! If you don't mind my asking, what was your thesis project? Oh, I was working on this prototype of a bow tie that would allow its wearer to sing perfectly in tune. It was pretty cool for its time, but now that every pop star in existence is already pitch-corrected to perfection, I figure the world's better off without that sort of thing anyway. So, no huge loss. must be frustrating being stuck here under your mom's shadow. And I thought I couldn't wait to get out of high school. Seriously, you have no idea. Have you tried talking to your mom about college? Can't you just argue that it'll help you become a better business person, even if that's not really what you plan to do? Of course I've tried. She won't have any of it. I might as well argue with a marble statue for all the good it does me. So wait a minute. If you go off to college, what happens with Casey? I thought you were absolutely smitten with him. I thought you might have already guessed by now. <laughs> the truth is, we're not really even dating C. He's actually helping me pay for my college fees. In exchange, I give him files on my mother and her wiles. It's a shady business that she runs, apparently. That diary in my room was fake and planted. Sure enough, it worked, kept her distracted. You should probably know. The last time I saw Casey, he gave me this. At Call Me Squinky 27? I don't know what it's about either, but maybe you can figure out what it means. Find out what's really going on. The story's taken some surprising turns. What strange plot twists have I yet to learn? I get a whole bunch of results for people named Pendergast, but nothing specific enough to tell me anything about this Pendergast. Hmm, interesting. There's a news story saying that Casey recently attempted to sue Van Dung Records for damages. No specifics on what exactly, though. And no other information about who Casey's lawyer is, either. Not much more I can find on that subject, other than what- Searching for at callmesquinky27 leads to a page of nonsensical questions and answers. Curious. I can't find any more specifics on the lawsuit. Prudence would be able to tell me more about it, I'd expect. Casey apparently
apparently tried to sue you recently. What for? Oh, you know, it's not important. Nothing more than empty threats. All he wanted was more money. You know how these singers get. I can't ask her about that. She'll get suspicious. Does at call me squinky 27 mean anything to you? I can't say it does. Sorry. You say Casey was just trying to get more money out of him, huh? Is that why he skipped town? I have no idea. It really doesn't make much sense to me. So you're sure you don't know anything else about Casey's lawyer? No, and I don't see how that's relevant in the first place. Hmm, she's being weirdly evasive about this subject. Maybe I should try a different tactic. You're not having an easy time of all this parenting, are you? Single motherhood is hardly all it's cracked up to be, even if you're as well-to-do as I am. So you say this Casey guy's been macking on your daughter and you want me to find him? Yes, precisely. All right then. Gee, if I ever become super rich, I hope I get a bust of myself in my office. Okay, not really, but still. aren't fun, neither is getting up so early, plus I can't afford a clock that extravagant. What happens if I turn it on? Wow, I'm surprised this computer isn't password protected. Nothing out of the ordinary, save for a bunch of emails from someone named Fritz Fleischer? Huh, who could that be? Hm. Better make myself scarce before Prudence gets back. Searching this name turns up a local law office. There's an address. I should probably head over and check it out. That was weird. Completely shutter. No sign of anyone returning. Why might that be? about Casey Bingham. Are you his lawyer? Yes, I am indeed Casey's lawyer. Is that so? What is your name? Fritz Fleischer. Hmm, if it's really you, then how many cherry trees can do the Charleston on top of a church spire? What? Is this some kind of riddle or something? Oh, that's not what he said you'd say. I hope you're not thinking. Because if you are, I'm going to have to... Eh, what's this all about now? Hmm, the only 
only search results I seem to be getting for the phrase, how many cherry trees can do the Charleston on top? Somehow I don't think that's the <laughs> Searching for at com Oh, what do we have here? How many cherry trees can do the Charleston on top of a church spire? Don't be childish. The Charleston is too challenging for church-going cherry trees. Aha! <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hello. I'd like to ask you, are you? Yes. Is that Fritz? Hmm. Uh, don't be childish. The Charleston is too challenging for church going cherry trees. So it is you. Very well. Casey told me to give you these directions to his cabin. Now the roads are rough and a little bit... I'll be taking those, thank you. You have a nice day now. Okay then. I guess I better head on over. And I should probably make it quick. Now to find a cheap way to get myself all the way out in the sticks. This must be the place he's staying. Follow the directions. Casey's nowhere to be seen. Calls for an inspection. I can see some charred up paper fragments. Say things like, can't breathe, it's painful, seems like they were recent. Is our friend Casey in some kind of trouble? Maybe Prudence lied to me, what is going on here? That moose head on the wall, it really creeps me out. I think it's staring at me with its eyes. That said, it can't be great to get your head chopped off and permanently stuck in dull surprise. There's a stack of papers over here. Looks a bit familiar, weirdly. Oh, what does it say there? A wearable device for in tune singing by Dominique Pomplamousse. My old thesis paper. <laughs> Zebra rug. I wonder if it's real. It must have cost a fortune either way. I wonder if they'd make a rug of human skin for which a super rich person would pay. What are you doing in my cabin? Sir, I'll have to ask you to leave. Aha! You must be. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, ma'am. You're Casey Bingham. Wait, why are you apologizing? I'm just being polite. Now, are you going to leave or what? Your voice. What happened to it? Why do you sound like some kind of robot? Well, you see, this tie I have to wear. But there have been problems lately Now I can't turn it off I'm kind of scared May I ask what?
what you're doing with my thesis papers from college. You mean those are yours? You're that Dominique. How do you pronounce your last name? Pomplamoose. And those papers were stolen, by the way. Where did you find them? They were in Prudence's files. They were buried in a pile. I thought they'd give me answers, so I took them. I was hired by Prudence Van Dung to find you. Wait, okay, you gotta hear me out. Fandom Records is corrupt without a doubt. I tell you, you just can't tell Prudence where I am. She wants me dead and she won't mess about. I've never met a real life pop star before. Oh, you know, I get that all the time. People always so quiet like the minds. Or oh, they scream and tear at me. It's scary, don't you see? I hear you posed as Devin Van Dung's boyfriend and helped pay her way to college in exchange for information on Prudence. Devin's a good kid. She's gotta get out of town and away from that horrible monster woman. I met that old lady who waters your plants. Ms. Pendergast, was it? What are you talking about? I don't have anyone watering my plants. Really? Because I could have sworn. Huh. So you don't know anyone called Ms. Pendergast? Nope, sorry. This is getting weirder and weirder. Where's your lawyer, Casey? He disappeared about two weeks ago. I've looked everywhere, don't know where else he'd go. Something must be going on. He wouldn't just be gone. Prudence has to be behind this, I am sure. Listen, you gotta help me. This tie, it's choking me. Gonna kill me if I don't get it off and soon. Look, it's been a really long time and that was supposed to be a prototype. It was never meant to be used by... Please, you're the only person who can... Ack. Okay, let me think. What if you just... Yeah, can't breathe. Losing. Ah! Is he dead? I think he's dead. What have I gotten myself into? I'm so sorry, Casey. Never meant for this to... Pimple Brain! Miss Rathbone? That's Officer Rathbone to you, you good-for-nothing murderer. I've been watching you for a while now. Murderer? Hey, I know it looks bad, and it's going to sound like the biggest cliche ever, but I can explain. Ha! You can explain in your cozy new jail cell. The good news is, it'll be a luxury resort compared to that 
dingy apartment of yours. You're throwing me in jail just like that? That's not fair. I have rights. Wait, I don't still have to pay the rent, do I? Shut up, Pimple Moose. Dominique, you're in over your head. Dominique, you might as well just lie down and go to bed. Dominique, Dominique, Dominique. Hey, Pimple Cakes, you've got a visitor. Hello, Fritz Fleischer. Or should I say, Dominique Pomplamoose. Wait a minute. So you're not... I mean, you can... It's a lamprey, P.I. Hope I have didn't come across as weird. I was hired by Mr. Bingham when his lawyer disappeared. That phantom woman is bad news if you hadn't already guessed. It was her who framed you for murder so as to keep you dispossessed. Okay, hold on. So you're saying Prudence Van Dung framed me? You must know now as well as I that it was your research she poached. Should that knowledge become well known, she will surely be reproached. Now, if you can get out of here and gather all your proof, that group will be the one in jail faster than you can say poof. How am I supposed to get out of here? Are you bailing me out? Regrettably, I can't afford to. Times are tough all around, you see. But if you can get past one crooked cop, well, that'll be the key. Speaking of keys, take this one I found in Mr. Bingham's possessions. And with that, I'd better scurry off, as it's the end of my visiting session. Dominique, you must get out of here. Dominique, there's nothing left to lose or even fear. Come on, Dominique. <laughs> Cell toilets are incredibly awkward. I feel oddly exposed, and the sink's at an unnatural angle on purpose, I suppose. To top it off, it's leaking. How do people sleep on beds like this? It smells like dirty socks, and the mattress is incredibly lumpy, probably made of rocks. I'd rather use the floor. I'd find myself in the slammer alone with my thoughts, most of which aren't even good ones. Brain starting to rot, and there's not even internet. These bars are all that's keeping me in here. Well, that and the police, and who knows, maybe they have guard dogs all covered in fleas. But I'll deal with them le- Hey, what's all that racket about? Hey, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the toilet's leaking. Is it? Okay, let me have a look. Not now, I'm busy. Not now, I'm busy. Still functional. Don't worry about it. Officer Rathbone. What do you want? Do we ever get to go out, you know, for exercise and such? Well, we used to do thriller dance lessons, but they've been on hiatus since the budget cuts. So no. Can I maybe get a musical instrument in here, like a harmonica or something? I feel a sudden urge to play the blues. Let me see what we have in the back. This is all. 
all I found. Uh, thanks. Officer Rathbone. What you? Can you check the toilet? I'm worried about bacterial. Fine. star-shaped indentation. This key has some kind of a star shape to it. Huh. Prudence's bust is- Hey, I w- What's this? My original prototype! You were using my work to damage Casey's voice. You got rid of us both before we could make noise. It says right here that this is my research. Years ago it was stolen, left me in a lurch. Oh, but can you even prove I stole it? Or that I have access to such research for that matter? For all anyone else knows, I discovered the same technology independently. Exactly what it does. Like this. Oh, look at that. You figured it out. But before you rush to judge me, let me explain. I was but a poor single mother. Working several thankless jobs. I saw opportunity to rise above the rest of the slaves. I did it all for my daughter, gave her a happier life. She's grown up in so much comfort, she'll never have to deal with Strive. Mother! Devon, darling, what, what are you doing in here? Can't you see I'm busy with Mr. Pomplamoose? She's Miss Pomplamoose, Mother, and you're always busy. Just hear me out just this once, and I promise I'll never bother you again. Wait, wait, did either of you actually ask me what I prefer to be called? Because I don't remember ever. All right, Devon, what do you have to say to me? Make it quick, please. I don't have all day. Well, I've decided that I'm going to university. That's right. And this means I'm going to move across the country. I'd have told you before, but you make it such a chore. Deal with your dismissal and hostility. Oh, and by the way, in a few weeks, I'll be moving out to live the life I've always dreamed about. 
me here all along, unless I have a proposition. Why don't you work for me? I can do everything to clear your name and get you out of debt. What do you say? Are you kidding? I can't work for an indiscriminate murderer. Sure, the job market's tight, but I'm not giving up on my sense of moral decency. I should take the evidence I've gathered and turn you in. I figured you'd feel that way. Very well. Good luck with that. Wait, so you're not stopping me? Why not? Odds of the police believing you are rather slim indeed. But who knows? You may get lucky. So I brought Van Dung to justice, or at least I tried to. I'm still where I was before an underemployed gumshoe, thinking that it's time to get away. Start over, change my life, and find my way. We've come to the end of my adventure. It had some strange and unexpected twists But I must say all in all that it wasn't too banal So here's a list of people who helped make this exist Aaron, Adam, Amy, Adventure, Killer, Augustine, A.K. Elaine, Alan, Alistair, Alejandro, Alex, Alexander, Alexi, Amanda, Anatoly, Andre, Andrea, Andreas, Andrew, Angela, Angie, Anne, Anna, Ari, Ariel, Emma, Van Dawn, Axel, Bart, Madame, Beholder, Benjamin, Burton, Rude, Braden, Brendan, Ben, Brett, Brian, Bruno, Bryce, Gaten, Carl, Carla, Carolyn, Catherine, Charles, Cheryl, Chris, Christina, Christopher, Sir, Cassandra, Clara, Leo, Colin, Connor, Cordis, Corey, C.S. on board, Dale, Dan, Daniel, Danny, Darius, Dave, Indiana, Diana, Diane, Diego, Petri, Bomb, 26, Tom, Ben, E, Elaine, Electro, with Theater, Elena, Elena, Elizabeth, Ellie, Ellen, Emiliano, Emily, Aaron, Aaron, Erwin, Ewan, Felicity, Felix, Lobo, Florian, Razor, Garkin, Class of Faust, Jean, George, Jean, Frank, Len, Grand, Greg, Gregory, Manville, Will, Arne, Hanukkah, Harold, Heidi, Holger, Yay, Ian, Igor, Ime, Isabella, Jaco, Jacqueline, Jock, Jake, Jacob, James, Jamie, Jan, Janet, Jared, Jason, Jill, JTM, 28, Jeanette, Jeff, Jenny, Jennifer, Jen, Jeremy, Jerwin, Jessica, Jill, Joe, Joel, Joey, John, Jonathan, Yor, Joshua, Jamie, Joanna, Julian, Yuri, Justin, A, Karen, Gary, Kate, Catherine, Trom, Master, Keith, Ken, Nancy, Kevin, Kanisha, Constantine, Christian Kyle Ginnon, Laura, Lori, Lee, Lee, Girl, Lamont, Lee, Lucas, Alte, Merrill, Marcel, Marcus, Marin, Lauren, Margaret, Marie, Marina, Maris, Mark, Martin, Matt, Matthew, Matthias, Marin, Theo, Max, Maxine, Megan, Melody, Meredith, Merrill, Merritt, Michael, Michelle, Bebo, Mitchell, Bitu, Zhao, Mi, Monica, Ori, Musician, Smiles, Nat, Nathan, Els, Nina, Nicholas, Nick, Nicole, Noiki, Dan, Olivia, Ori, Pamela, Parham, Patricia, Paul, Pavel, Petter, Phil, Philip, Phoebe, Pierre, Francesco, Lynn, Rachel, Ralph, Brandy, Brandy, Werewolf, Dina, Rinal, Ria, Richard, Ricard, Rina, Rob, Robert, Roger, Ronald, Ross, Ryan, Sam, Samuel, Sandra, Sandy, Sarah, Scott, Seamus, Sean, Sebastian, Sergio, Seth, Shana, Sherla, Shiloh, Simon, Simone, Seamus, Solomon, Stephen, Stephanie, Stephen, Stewart, Susan, Sen, Tebel, Tate, Saw, Tammy, Tara, Terry, Tedlow, The William Family, The Mythical Man, Thomas, Von, Rob, Tia, Tim, Timothy, Tobias, Mom, Top Hat, Dormon, Tracy, Tate, Potter, Mon, Travis, Kristen, Suji, Wolf, Val, Victor, Vikram, Vincent, Volrak, Wayne, Wendy, William, Sandra, Yan, Yannick, Weimer, John, Zach, Zachary, Soya. So thank you all for playing through this game. Now turn your screen off, go outside, it's good for you, they claim.